Hey guys, how's everyone doing? It's Josh. I uh, want to do a real quick video unboxing these Power Rangers Retro Morphin Action Figures. Yes, I got uh, both complete sets of all of them. Really cool. I got these for a uh, Imaginex custom project. Like I do the little Imaginex uh, helmetless figures. I want to use these new head sculpts. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to tell you what I think of them. I'm going to open them. Um, yeah. Uh, going to go ahead and start with my favorite ranger, of course. Sorry about the glare. Still working on setting up this new area, so I'm working with very limited light right now. But got these in today, and I couldn't help. So this comes from the first series. I don't know why they chose to do the uh, ranger slayer in the first series. But boom, here we go. A little warning instructions. Very awesome, reminds me a lot of the um, old school ones. Maybe a little more detail, doesn't have the hole to hold them. Of course, this doesn't look like the one there because the one for the old school ones was um, uh, white, wasn't it? No, it was silver. The weapons were silver, the guns were, sorry about that. The weapons were silver, the guns were um, white. So yeah, very cool. Um, I love the new, like, uh, shield isn't, like, hard plastic. It's very bendable. Um, I love the articulation. Like, I've seen people look at these, but they're very cool, you know. The other ones couldn't do like that, you know. Waha! Splits and everything like that. Uh, morphers. Everyone looks different. That's really cool instead of just a little red uh, dot. Really nice. Awesome. Let's morph this bad boy. Let's see what these uh, sculpt looks like. Oh, that's very, that's good. Pretty good. I mean, a lot, anything's almost better than the um, retro flip morphers. Honestly, the only reason why those look good to me is because childhood. I've, I've seen some of these out of the box, not having a good morph, like constantly going back to the helmet. Uh, but this one looks good. So that's that one right there. Really cool. Um, so dude, let's check out the White Ranger. I may not open every single one. I may cut and open all because, you know, all the trash over here. Awesome. You know me, huge Tommy fan, so. The Saba, very good detail, all white. Pretty cool. Done. Same as the other one. This uh, shield doesn't look like it sits as well, in my opinion, as the other one. It's kind of bulky, keeps fanning out. It can't, can't all be winners. Let's see right there. Morph. Is that the same head sculpt as the other one, or is that different? Uh, that is different. See, they added the ponytail. I guess a little bit of age to it. That's cool. That'll be nice to have a... Um, uh, White Ranger version that differs from the Green Ranger version. That'd be really cool. So, boom, boom. Um, I'll go ahead and open them, I guess. We'll get through them real quick. I do also have a Ninja, but I won't be opening that one because that is actually... My daughter asked for one of those for Christmas, and I found one, and it's hers, you know. Um, I should be putting their little guns in their holsters. There you go. Boom. Because Zach, uh, one of the head sculpts I don't know if I agree with too much. It just look, just something just looks off about it, you know. I don't envy anyone who has to sculpt like a hyper-realistic uh, head sculpt, you know. Like I said, I do like, again, how this, this coin looks like it's a little off, you know, if you can see. I don't know if you can. Um, pretty good axe, but the Imagine X one has a better... Um, has the more detail, in my opinion. Now, it almost looked like the way I was thinking when I first saw these. I mean, and I paid attention to them after Wave 2 that the... You know, they were going to match. Like, the black ranger had a black uh, axe. This had this. This should have been green. And yellow had yellow daggers. But now that they essentially gave everyone, like, white, black, or gray, these yellow daggers, in my opinion, just 
stand out, man. I'm just trimming. Boom, right here. Oh, that looks pretty, uh, looks angry, but maybe a little bit better with the hair, at least. Like I said, these, ooh, that one had some trouble. These are all going to get uh, their heads removed. It's going to be another video. This is the unboxing video, so make sure you pay attention to the other video. Oh, there we go. It's a pretty cool remnants, reminiscent power sword. I remember the power sword from the um, old uh, flip morphers. Let's see. Ah. Uh, the hair's maybe a little too tall, but other than that, I like the expression on his face. He looks more laid back than the um, uh, face I'm used to on the uh, vintage flip morphers. So let's, see, let's move you guys up, 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 up. There you go, boom. We've got three more left. Yeah, because I'm going to open the Ranger Slayer too. I might... Uh, or no, actually, I'm not going to open the Ranger Slayer. Because, again, that's probably going to go to my daughter for Christmas. She's a real big fan of the Ranger Slayer, so Bo. And you can see the clips. So these obviously form the, uh, the blaster weapon. So that's pretty cool. So here we go, Kimberly. Uh, yeah, that looks uh, different, I guess. It's hard to even tell, man. I guess, yeah, from certain angles when you just look kind of like side on. I guess to me, the hair looks a little light. It's a nice tight flip morph, man. They really perfected that. Let's get your gun in your holster. Boom, there's your power bow. Here's your sword. We got one more, Billy. Uh, I got this lot off of Macaria. Big shout out to the seller. Um, he hooked me up with a good deal. Which I thought was pretty, oh geez. I thought was pretty cool, Billy. Got this power lance. I wonder if the power lances can go together. They do look like they go together. That's pretty cool. Boom. Pop this guy out. See him? See the civilian head? Uh, the glasses are too, I don't know, prominent, circular. I guess they should have made them black. I mean, white is just a little strange. Um... The hair just looks maybe a little bit flamboyant. I'm wondering how it's going to be removing these figures. So that's going to be a challenge. So yeah, that is it. Um, be on the lookout for the uh, Custom Imagine X video. May already be uh, out. If it is, I'll link it in the description. So uh, that's it. Uh, overall, I think these are good. For a collector's item, like, honestly, if I was collecting these, I would keep them in their package. I wouldn't open them. They look great in the package. Uh, to me, they don't feel like they're very good to have out. I mean, I mean, I would have loved that articulation when I was a kid. Don't get me wrong. But just now, like, if you're posing figures, like, for people who like to pose figures or for people who like to do stop motion or uh, action figure photography, it just seems like you'd want to go with the Lightning Collection or you know, some of the other more uh, expensive lines, but uh problem will, will always be the bulky chest because, you know, that's where they got to uh, keep the head encased. Um, in my opinion, this is one of the most valuable figures because I love this uh, dragon shield. I really wonder, you know, how many different figures you could just give the dragon shield with this. I would have loved that as a kid. Um, I have seen people try to use them in other customs. This one over here looks a little strange in my opinion. But, uh, yeah, um, that's it. See you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.